guest we're talking to this morning. Going to spend a bit of time uh, with the uh, Social Development uh, Deputy Minister Lindiwe Zulu joining us uh, this morning. There's a lot to talk about, isn't there? Proposed changes to the COVID-19 social relief grants, SASA grants. There's so much, and the minister uh, so very, very busy as well in joining us uh, this morning. Lindiwe Zulu, good to have you on the show. Thank, thank you, you for, very much thank for the you opportunity. For coming in. I love your studio. Oh, you like it? Oh yes. You want the, it's everybody, absolutely. Yeah, minister, everybody yeah. wants the wants the video wall. Could this fit into your house? Uh, well, we it? could reduce it. <laughs> <laughs> With blackouts, though, I don't think it's actually going to work. Luckily, it's got its own battery system. But the, the other thing is that they shut the sun down, but, you know, people who come to this studio, they see the sunrise yeah. in the morning. Yeah. We just like, closed you know. it down now, but you're right, ST1 is actually very pretty. We might open it up later for that sunrise. Yeah. It's not a bad view we've got here. It's yeah. not a bad view we've got here. You've got it's, a good studio. It's, thank you. It's, it's, it's a tricky time to be you at the moment, isn't it? Because you COVID-19, social relief grants, you're trying to argue for more money people need the money off the back of COVID-19, but it isn't that much money. We, we can't pay for everything. How, how are we feeling on the relief grants? Well, the good thing is that um, we have the experience of um, social grants in general, mm. from the other grants of the elderly, the children, and people with disability. But also we've got programs that deal with poverty in general from a social development point of view. So from that point, we are experiencing it. And then, of course, we've got the most popular 350 now. Um, I think we don't have the money, but we have to find the money. Where? Is it, was everyone agrees? I don't think anybody would argue you've got to find the money. Where did we find the Where 350? Where did you find it? Where did we find the 350? Yeah. when uh, President Cyril Ramaphosa announced that people have been out of jobs mm -hmm. and people are not going to be able to get back to jobs in a while. Mm -hmm. And we, uh, we can all see that on the streets. And all he did was give directive that we have to do everything we can, G gave directive um, uh, to Treasury, but of course Treasury has to uh, protect the entire purse because it's more than just... Um, ourselves as a department of social development we've got all the other very important mm -hmm. however gareth poverty when people wake up in the morning and they have absolutely nothing on the table we have to think hard about that when people have got no jobs to go to we have to have to think hard about that we have to think about the fact that if we leave so many um, below the poverty line and all Think about what's going to happen with those who are in the homes with absolutely nothing in the next 10 years. But think about it, what will it look like in the next 10, 15, 20 years if we lift them up? It's getting worse as well, isn't it? Because the cost of living at the moment, it's, uh, the, the basic food basket has gone up as well. And that's why I want to ask you about that 350 rand. I'm sure it's difficult uh, to also know that there's only uh, so much money that can be paid out. And that's almost not enough to keep someone going because of what things are costing. A loaf of bread has gone up, mm -hmm. flour, oil, it, it almost, 350 rand as great it is, as it is, almost isn't enough. I'm sure you feel like you could do, do more, it must be frustrating. Yes, absolutely. The good thing uh, about it is that we have uh, people in communities <clears throat> who are three to four people in a house, <coughs> excuse me, mm -hmm. but just the, the pain of knowing that you've got in a family, you've got three or four people who are unemployed. That's the pain. But the good thing on the other hand is that they pull the 350 together and they look at their needs. They pay for the electricity, they pay for uh, foodstuffs because they, they pay for the basics, mm. by the way. I've been to families, to homes, where you find there are three to four people who are unemployed and then they pull the money together because they, knew, they know they have to survive. For me and, 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 and the Department of Social Development is about a push of saying, would we rather and not look for money on the, and, and say there is no money or should we go and have the continuous engagement, not only with the um, uh, Treasury, by the way, but just as government overall to say we cannot afford to have so many people. Mm. The first application for the SRD, which we call it Social Relief of Distress, the first application was more than 10 million. Now, if you look at more than 10 million and you look at the statistics 
of the unemployed. So automatically you know how many people are going to apply, but at the same time you know there are those who will take chances who will apply where they are not supposed to be applying. And therefore you put the systems in place to make sure that the money goes to those who actually need it. And that's exactly what I would wanted to pick up on with you, Minister. When we come back in a couple of minutes from now, Lindiwe Zulu uh, is going to be staying with us for most of the hour, the Social Development Minister, because you, you led me very nicely to where I want to go next is the checks and balances yeah. on fraud. Because when people need, as you've explained, 350 rand so desperately, and you get those who come in mm -hmm. and are taking that money, that they shouldn't be getting. That's got to be uh, incredibly frustrating for you as a department, but also uh, desperate for the people who need that money. Uh, Minister Zulu, we're going to talk about that when we come back with you in a couple of minutes from now. If you'd like to tweet us, by the way, the minister is going to stay with us uh, for a little while. You're welcome to tweet us at ENCA. Just use the hashtag, the South African Morning. You're also welcome to tweet me directly if you want. I've got my phone with me. It's probably quicker for me to get a tweet from you. Uh, my Twitter handle is at Gareth Edwards SA. Uh, any questions or comments from the minister? I'm sure she won't mind taking a few. If you do send some through, uh, tweet that to us. Uh, we're back with you in just a moment.